Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Smith XC sunglasses. If you needed proof that fashion is cyclical, you wouldn't have to look further than sunglasses. Most brands are reaching back into their catalogs and revamping classic designs with modern optics and materials. The Smith XC sunglasses that we have here are no exception. They're originally part of Smith's 1983 to 84 scheme collection and have recently been brought back with a sleeker design and new optics. Packaging wise, very simple. You have a nice cardboard box, eco-friendly design. You can see the variation that we have here with the Cat 3 lens. And then that's pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and open this up and go, we'll go over the specs. Retail price on this is $179. What's really cool about them is that you have the flip up lens. So it actually pops up, which is really nice. You have the chroma pop lens options as well as the auto lock hinges, which makes it really easy to put on and take off with one hand. You have an Evolve bio-based frame. So it's environmentally friendly. And then the Magol nose pads, which are anti-slip and malleable. So easy to adjust. Here you can see the pop up feature. So really unique and brings that retro vibes back. In terms of what you get with this, you actually get a retro bag too. So it's a fabric bag with the Smith Optics branding stitched on. So really nice and soft, as, long, as well as a Smith sticker. Now let's take a look at the weight of the sunglasses. So on the scale, they come in at 31 grams. As the name implies, the Smith XC were originally designed for cross-country skiers as a part of Smith's 1983 to 84 catalog. Smith has brought them back from the vault and remade them with the latest Evolve bio-based frame material and the Chromapop lens. You can see visually, definitely a retro vibe to it. You have a squared off lens design. A fairly flat one, this is only a base four curvature, or actually a base three. So you do have a little bit of curvature, but it doesn't really wrap around your face. And the color scheme is very retro. They have five different options currently. We have the Storm Birch, which is this nice pale blue, along with this beige that you kind of see with old keyboards and computers. So definitely an interesting color scheme. The temples don't really have anything on them. The whole material itself is just kind of non-slip and rubbery feeling. You have the Magol nose pad. So this is malleable. You can kind of adjust this up and down. And then you basically have a semi-frameless design. So no frame underneath and then the pop-up lens. So that's the coolest feature. Something you really don't see with modern sunglasses. So this is great if you're on the beach, on the ski slope and you want extra visibility, just pop them open. Say if you're sitting on a lift or even cycling, if you're going up a slow climb, you pop this open and now you have nice clear vision. It's a really cool feature. You don't have to take the sunglasses off when you need it. You can see there's a hinge actually built into the top brow. The nose pad is connected to that with this nice bio-based material. And then you can pop it down. There is no interchangeable lens design, obviously, because it's all hinged on here. And you have the nice Smith logos on the edges. You can see these have the auto lock feature. So once you get close, it's a little spring in them that pops it down. Again, base three. So when you look at it from the top, not very curved, unlike a really high curved one that would wrap around your face. This is a lot flatter. You can also see the lens when it's actually open. So at the edge of your vision, you'll see the bottom of these. But really cool design overall and has a lot of nice applications. Here you can see the XC sunglasses on the road. They're a really cool pair of sunglasses. And you can see here, if you're doing a slow climb, you can just flip up the lens as we've done and then flip it down once you're descending. So you don't really have to take sunglasses off anymore, which makes it sort of a game changer for cycling. Otherwise, they're a really attractive pair of sunglasses with that retro design. And that squared off profile, they look great on or off the bike. You have great optics from the Chroma Pop lens as well. So it really brings up the contrast on everything and they brighten everything around you. So great pair of sunglasses and pretty versatile as they're offered in quite a few variations. They're not the best cycling sunglasses we've worn. And that's why they're marketed more toward high performance, not particularly cycling because they're not as curved, which means you do see the edges of the lens when you're riding. So that's one downside, but otherwise really nice design. And it's great to see retro designs make a comeback. Now let's do a comparison between the Smith XC and other sunglasses on the market. 
Again, these are now really marketed directly towards cyclists instead of just a performance pair of sunglasses. We also have the Smith Boomtown here. Really cool name. You can see a purple mirrored style lens with the same chromopop design. This one has better graphics with these almost marbly effect versus the retro color scheme here. This one, you can see the big difference with the curvature. So where this is a base three, I think the Boomtown is probably a base six. So you can see much more curved when it's open. So it really wraps around your face while this is a little bit flatter. There's a lot of sunglasses to choose from on the market. One of our favorite is the Matador Roca Air. So this is a semi-frameless, so you can see the bottom is open. And it has a distinctive wraparound design. Again, very highly curved, which is better for cycling. As it's a little bit more immersive, you don't really see the lens at all because of that curvature. But you can see otherwise pretty similar. This one has a thinner frame because obviously you don't have the hinged effect. If you're more on a budget, Tifosi has quite a few options. We have the rail. You can see full frameless design, wraparound shield as well, and less retro, but gives you good performance, especially for the sub $100 price point. We've also reviewed quite a few other retro style sunglasses. This is the Bole Chrono Shield, and this is actually an 80s or 90s ski goggle converted back to a sunglass. So you can see it looks like a ski goggle, more curved, bigger lens, so much taller than the XC. So it gives you good coverage, but obviously it's a full frame design versus the semi-frameless design on the XC. And obviously none of these have the cool hinged effect. Oakley also has quite a few retro ones they bought back as well as new designs. This is the Oakley Kato, which is a kind of a funky modern take where they combine the nose bridge into the pair of sunglasses itself. And again, with the cycling specific ones, it's just more curved and quite a bit more expensive as well. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the XC sunglasses. What we like about them is you have a flip up lens. It's a nice unique feature and it's really useful for cycling or even other sports. You also have retro designs and color schemes so you can really find a nice look that matches your personality and crisp optics with the high contrast chroma pop lens options. The main cons for the sunglasses is the fact that they are a premium price and the edge of the lens are visible while cycling as they are not as curved as other cycling specific sunglasses. So they still work well, but they're not as well suited for cycling as Smith's other cycling sunglasses. Taking everything into account, we give the XC sunglasses 9.2 out of 10. These make flip up lenses cool again. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride. <laughs>